So today we're going to be installing a new pair of seats in the front of our Jeep Gladiator. We have gone with the Shieldman. I want to discuss real quickly why you would want to justify spending the money and the time to update your seats in any vehicle. Firstly, you have comfort. Lots of hours behind the wheel or as a passenger princess. Comfort is very, very important. Body fatigue that comes from a seat that doesn't fit properly is not ideal. The Shieldman option, it provides you with an infinite amount of adjustability. The seat back cushion can move vertical. The seat bottom cushion can move horizontally back and forth, giving great support to your knees. You have bolsters that move right and left, and you have adjustability in your headrest and also in lumbar support. You can as well, before you ever get the seats in stock, you can choose the height of seat that you want. They make an XL for people who are typically greater than six foot. Uh, they make a wide range of seats meant to fit you just perfectly. The second factor in why you would want to upgrade your seats is safety. The primary reason that you want a seat that fits you well is so that that seat will hold you in position. That goes for driving, but also in a collision. If you are unfortunate enough to find yourself in a collision, having that seat hold you in position is ideal because it allows your seat belts and other supplementary restraint systems components to do what they were designed to do and save your life. It makes airbags work better. It makes seat belts and seat belt pretensioners work better. It makes the whole crash function work better. If you see in comparison, the bolster size on both the bottom and the seat back on our factory Jeep seats are just not great. The, the bolsters are not large. There's no adjustability. It's very difficult to get truly all the way comfortable and safe in these seats. And the Shieldman option provides us with the ability to have all of that adjustability for comfort, like I previously stated, but with that comfort also comes safety. So the first step in replacing your seats will obviously be to remove your factory seats. On the Jeep Gladiator, what you'll need is an E12 external Torx. You'll need a T50 Torx. You'll obviously need a ratchet to run those. To remove the sensors that we will be needing from the factory seats, you will need a T25 and you will need a pair of side cutters. So this is the bottom of your factory seat from a Jeep Gladiator. Uh, Jeep Wrangler will be almost identical. There are a series of components that we need to remove from the factory seat to be put into the new seat. One, we have a seat occupancy sensor, which is mounted under this seat cushion here. There's one of these on both the driver and passenger side. This harness here will need to be removed. Seat belt receiver. We will also be grabbing a seat track position sensor and removing that as well. This is your seat harness. We will be reusing this, so please retain it. The factory seat belt receivers will be reused. So this is be this will be our T50 Torx. And then we will fish that wire. Two pin connector. We'll remove this to be used on the new seat. This is the factory seat occupancy sensor. It is a hydraulic sensor, so there is a captured fluid that passes through this hose and goes to this pressure sensor. So we're gonna remove the sensor itself. We'll remove these two straps. We will then remove these upholstery clips. We will remove these harness connectors 
Our goal here is going to be to remove this white section that is trapping that sensor in there. We'll push down on these locking tabs. So we'll remove these locks from, and as we push inboard, we will free those locks there. Releasing that. And then the occupancy sensor comes out complete. The last sensor that we will be removing from the factory seat is our seat rail position sensor. All you need to do is pull back on this tab, then it will pull off. This will be connected to the harness and put on to the new seat. So this is the box that your Shieldman seats will show up in. I'm gonna get this box opened up and we'll go over the contents. Applied with the seats is a nice Shieldman towel, headrest, U-shaped seatbelt anchor. Now we'll get the seat out of here and show you guys how to put the sliders on and how to transfer the components over to the new seats. Okay, I have nowhere to go now. The rest of your seat components are in the bottom of the box. This bar is so that we can move the seat forward and backward, the seat tracks. The headrest, just a simple push down to install. The bolts for your sliders are mounted underneath the seat. Seat belt U adapter provides us with a welded capture nut on each side. That way we have somewhere to put our seat belt receiver. It will just go in place and then our sliders will go on top of it. The provided hardware and the provided hex key. So with the rear two bolts installed, it's now time to release the locks, push the seat track down, and then we can install our two front bolts. And now that we have all the bolts started, we can torque all of them down nice and tight and let that thread locker and locking washers do their job. So we're gonna install our seat occupancy sensor right here between the seat cushion and the seat bottom retainer. To do that, we need to remove a few of these hog ring clips so that we can pull this material up and slide our sensor in there. Side cutters are the best way to get these hog rings. Obviously we wanna be careful not to hurt the material of the seats. Underneath, there are two more hog rings that we need to remove just to allow the material to flex far enough that we can get our sensor in place. If you're tearing apart both seats at the same time, I would recommend uh, noting the orientation to make sure that the sensors end up back in the same location. You will have this tube and sensor that points, you're gonna want that to point down out of the seat. And then we will start by an installing just until the hose reaches this material here. Sensor will go through here. You will need hog ring pliers and hog rings to be able to reapply. So with our seat occupancy sensor installed, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clip and then push up. That'll allow us to easily install our hog rings.
Now that we're completed with installing the hog rings, we can install our slide release handle. The slide release handle is not flat. It does have a kick out and you want the kick out to be toward the bottom of the seat, allowing for more travel. Two locations are provided. I've chosen to make the handle as long as possible. So I'm gonna use the lowest. You just index it into the slide and then install into the two. So let's move on to getting the seat brackets mounted in the truck. So the seat brackets to the vehicle are pretty simple. We're gonna use the factory seat bolts and just install all four, torque to nice and tight, and then we'll move on to setting up the wiring and mounting the seats on the brackets. So the factory Gladiator seats have a side mounted airbag. We will be eliminating that airbag. The thought is that we are safer because the seats are more comfortable and more capable in a crash. But to make sure that we don't set a supplementary restraint system fault, which would make all of the airbags not work, this wire, we need to put 2.2 ohms or roughly two ohms of resistance so that the system will continue to work thinking that there is an airbag there. An easy way to do that is an airbag emulator, which we bought off Amazon. All we do is just install the pins into this connector and then I'm going to tape this connector and the airbag emulator for good measure. If any fault codes were set while you are working on the car, you will have to clear those to make sure that your supplementary restraint system is operational. And we're going to reinstall the seat harness and leave it underneath. We'll need to clean this up after we install the seat, but we'll take care of that. So with all the seat bolts installed, there are extended slot holes to allow for adjustment. We adjusted ours so that it's far enough away from the console but still has clearance for the door. Now we can just tighten down all of the seat mounts, complete the wiring. So with our seat installed, we will install our seat belt pretensioner on the receiver. And then I'm gonna grab some zip ties and we'll clean up all this wiring. So with all these wires together, zip tie them to keep them neat. This is our seat occupancy sensor. We'll leave it out so we can connect it and our install is complete. So after three months with these seats mounted in our Gladiator, I can report that these are such a fantastic upgrade over the factory seats. The comfort, the adjustability is second to none. We've absolutely loved it. We have taken these seats all the way up to Alberta, Canada and all the way as far south as Los Angeles. Can't say enough good things. You will not be disappointed. If you have any questions about whether these seats will work perfect for your ride, feel free to go down below and leave a comment. Ask us a question, we're happy to reply, and be sure and go follow Shieldman Seats.